You know what, Johnny? I'm, I'm going to have to be nice to you today. This, this is the day where I'm going to be nice and lovely and kind to Johnny Nelson. All right, then. Nice, thank you. Now, if you're going to get in the picture, you're just going to see the top of your head. So I reckon you should just like one on, but you can come in if you want. I'll stoop down. <laughs> I don't want you stooping down, thank you very much. We said we're going to keep it clean and I'm not coming on, I'm not going to get on camera today. So we'll leave it there. I had to change my words then before I get myself into trouble. How are you, Johnny? I'm all right, thank you very much. First time Beta Croydon, first to London I've been is Crystal Palace. It's actually all right around here. I'm glad for Joshua Bawatsi. Uh, I think there's going to be a few, uh, a few choice words said when this is out and about because of how he's how he's actually took ownership of himself, basically saying, I want people to see me. I want people to know where to find me. I want people to know. But I get it. I get it. And it, and it comes across as a dis, but it isn't. Because, because if you're a network, and, and, and Sky was the same. When Sky first started off, the numbers had to build up. The numbers just aren't there that he wants right now. So he said, I want to go where the numbers are. The numbers are here. So, and he wants what's best for him. In five years' time, it might work. But in five years' time, he won't be here. So he wants what's best for him today. So this is business, you know, so he's done what's best business for him. There was rumours that he was coming over um, to Sky Sports. There's been rumblings for a while. What do you think, it, like you said, yes, there's going to be more eyes on him. We get that. Obviously, it's, you know, Sky Sports boxing, a lot of eyes are on the sport. He did mention, and like I said, it seemed as if it's a little bit personal. It is business, but he said, you, I don't, you don't have to. The choice words he used was, you don't have to download an app to see me fight. I haven't got to announce it. You just know where to go. In those sorts of words, your thoughts on that? That's fact. That's fact. So, say, for instance, he gets the big fights where he's been offered a million for whatever, allegedly, and it's pay-per-view, and he's switched it on now. So, that fan base that he's missed out on for the past, since May 2022, has disappeared. It's like, where's Joshua Boatze? Oh, he's fighting for a world title. Now, if Joshua Boatze was fighting on a regulars, building his fan base up again, and they're all saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. All of a sudden, those pay-per-view figures are boom up there. So sometimes, sometimes you've got to kiss ass before you kick ass. And so he knows exactly what he's playing. How he's come out today, he owns who he is. He's, he's talked straight. He's been dead right. He's, he's, he's shown a side to his personality that we've not seen. I'm thinking, there he is. Forever fighters are trying to be Anthony Joshua. You know, PC, correct and everything. Anthony Joshua's realised, you know what, that worth me so far, but now I'm going to be me. And fighters, I'm thinking, no, no, I want to be, want to be me. You've seen these YouTubers getting paid ridiculous money. More than fighters that have bought since five years old. You've seen promoters, you've seen networks getting mad money. So now, fighters are thinking, no, you know what, it's my turn now. For historically in our game, it has always been the way where fighters are the ones that end up with a short change. So, so what Joshua Boatze is doing is he's concentrating on him. He's making what, doing what's best for him. And like it or not, the people that are not going to like it and they'll, they'll, they'll bitch and they'll slag him off for it, but he's doing what's best for him. Tyson Fury, he's just got a 70-30 split deal. Now people are slagging him off for it. He's just got the best deal for himself. End of. You know, so, so it doesn't matter how it's come about. This is, he's, all he's done is negotiated publicly. So if I say to you, yo, there's a hundred pound here, I give you 99 pound, it's all yours. Then you say, yeah, I love it. Then you realize there was a thousand pound there. You know, he's done what the best deal was in for him. So that's what, that, that, what Joshua Bass is doing. I get it. But with the Tyson Fury thing, the, 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 the crowds, I mean, we're not going to drift onto that, but there's a, there's a split kind of thought process on that. Some people are fair enough. He's got it. He's, he, he's got what he wanted and it's worked. But some people will say that he was doing that because he didn't believe that Usyk would accept that. So that's a bit of a... That's twofold. So, let's, so this will be forgotten about the day after the fight. The fight's now on. So it'll be forgotten about. So no matter what the methods were, the method worked for him. He's got what's best for him. So I, I don't knock him for that. Uh, and Because and, in our sport, you've got to get the, what's best for you. Usyk can say, you know, I love it because I know I'll beat you. So yeah, take it. And so that's worked for him. He's got what he wants. So building Joshua Boatsy, we're going to get back to him. The process then, you know, like you said, he, well, like he said, he wants those world titles. How are Boxer and Sky Sports collectively with him going to build him towards that world title fight? Because he has been inactive. 
can't just expect to throw him into a world title fight next. What's the plan? So he's got to create consistency. He's got to build that fun, fun base up again. Get him three or four more fights where the fans are backing it again. He's in touching distance of fighting for a world title fight. And he probably could have it. But if you're going to fight for a world title fight and truly go in there and think, now I will win. I know there's no ring rust. I know I've got the fan base there. I'm going to get him paid as much as I possibly can. I'm happy with everything that's happened. So he is now, he's businessized himself. He is his own business. And so, so therefore, people are going to bitch about how he's doing his business. But they don't bitch about how promoters do the business, how TV networks do the business. He's getting what's best for him. I'm liking, I am liking seeing the, the, the control, the control that the fighters are starting to take. They're starting to take ownership of themselves. You've mentioned it briefly there. You've got the YouTube crossover boxing. It's creating that much of a storm that even the British Boxing Board of Control has said, we're not too sure we like this. Because it's boxing snobbery. You, when, when those two fought, when those two fought, on the undercard you had a World Cruiserweight title fight. Who was talking about it? 24 hours before, Floyd Mayweather was doing the same thing at the O2. Who was talking about it? They gave away 3,000 tickets. So you can't knock these boys because what they did was they monetized and made as much out of who they were. They were the ones that everyone was talking about. Tyson, Tyson Fury, Mike Tyson, Deontay Wilder. They all turned up to watch this. So they must be doing something, right? And so what I'm saying is fighters that can really fight, that have got the pedigree and, and, and done it forever in a day, if they just take on that mindset to say, right, I've got to let you a little bit into my life and promote myself a little bit more, otherwise I cannot bitch about what you're getting. So even though fighters are bitching about what those boys are getting, it's your own fault. Have a do it. You can't say I don't have to do it, but I want what you've got. No, no, you've got to work for that stuff. And, and Joshua, what I see when he's come out today, I'm looking thinking, I just see something different about the boy. You know, you don't have to be a bad man. You don't have to be cussing someone and dashing the table. You don't have to be, you don't have to, you can just say, you know what, this is me. It's getting people to get to know him. And that's what we love to see. There's something that actually, to be fair, there's something that I did want to ask you. I spoke to Mams Taylor, who's obviously uh, one half or one third of Misfits. They are actually in the process now of having a professional uh, arm to Misfits. And they're looking at doing a tournament. The weights, nothing of that has been discussed yet, but they're going to be doing a professional boxing tournament where uh, the pot for the winner of the tournament is $1 million. Your thoughts on that? Reality TV, like it or not, is today's society. You know, it's that fly in the wall thing. And that's, why this is, that's where this has come from. And this could work. And I, I know there are other, there are other programs in the in the pipeline to do that too because they understand today's society you understand today's kids they understand today's tv mam's also mentioned that he's starting to get a lot more direct messages from professional boxers than he is from influencers hence professional boxers are looking to cross over themselves because they know that that's where there's a lot of eyes on it and the pay the pay is the big thing he was saying that's what i'm saying so now the, the guys that have had a stranglehold on our sport, now have I... say strangleholds. Johnny, break that down. Stranglehold in regards to controlling how this thing works. It's an empire. That's how it's been. Now things have got to change. Because now there's, there's, there's people are talking. People knows what my man's getting paid over there. People are talking to each other. You can't make out. You can't keep people apart so they don't get any wiser. So now fighters are thinking, hold on a minute. No, that's not right. So I totally get it. I told what a time to be a potential, a, a potential talent coming through the system. We absolutely love to see. Are there any more secret signings that you are going to be getting? I mean, when I say secret signings, I know you're not going to tell me, but as the signing with Boxer for, let's say, the next two, three months, is that all the announcements done or can we expect something else from you guys? Expect something else. Any lightweight like, divisions? I ain't saying nothing because people said I can't keep a secret so what I'm doing now man expect something else you're obviously being paid very well to keep your mouth shut because you haven't even mentioned anything to me off camera uh, Johnny I know you want to get off because you're interviewed out thanks for waiting um, it's always a pleasure to speak to you and, I and I'll see you next week anyway see Manchester pow hi and thank you for watching October Red Boxing like subscribe and tap the bell for notifications you can also find us on Instagram at October Red Boxing and on Twitter, October Red UK. And remember, at October Red, 
we stay ready.